My name's Nico. I'm a fairy from the dream world. It's somewhere between, you know, heaven and earth. Anyway, you ever heard the story of Jade Cocoon? Monsters wander through the forest. And people live in fear of them hiding in magical protection. That age is said to have lasted a long time. Yet that entire pack of monsters is said to have been sealed in the wormhole forest by the brave actions of a single hunter. So, pretty amazing, huh? Time passed and the saga faded to legend. And after a long period of silence, the seal was finally about to be broken. But, however... The time to assemble has come again. Save the world from the beasts of darkness. This recent Help Wanted ad stirred up the public by advertising, make a quick buck in all the rank and honor you want. Come on out, starting today, you too can be a hero. Yeah, magic and monsters. No matter how much you know about them, you still won't be popular with the girls, much less attract them. Ta-da! This is the brave hero of our story. His name is Kahoo. He's a perfectly normal little boy who adores the legendary Cocoon Master. You call that normal? Well, we won't worry about that now. Thus, Kahoo begins his journey and heads to the temple to meet his hero. So I wonder, what will be young Kahoo's fate? I warped into a room. Is this the power of magic too? Hmm, this place is pretty small inside. Now, how do I get to be a cocoon master? Maybe I'll ask someone. Hey you, what's that next to you? It's the bulletin board. First time here? Yep, I just got here. Who are you? I haven't seen you around here. Are you a rookie? Me? I'm Kahu. Pleased to meet you. Uh, I'm not too sure I'm so pleased to meet you. Should I be? Huh? Why not? Did I say something wrong? Why should I trust you? If you want a good scoop, keep coming back to ask. Hey, old man. How do I become a Cocoon Master? Cocoon Master? That's a blast from the past. We're all Beast Hunters. Beast Hunters? Is that a Cocoon Master? A Super Cocoon Master? Think of it more like a Super Hyper Cocoon Master. Remember that. Anyway, you got a license here? A license? What's that? Do I gotta have one? Of course. Go to the Jade Throne Room and train to get one. sell here this is where people swap information you use the bulletin board to find jobs you mean like part-time jobs bingo but the best paying jobs can be pretty dangerous but one more thing to pick up clues keep on talking to people right This place is a lot smaller than I thought. Son, first time here. Sir, where's the chief? I want to be a cocoon master. The Nagi people are no longer here. Gone on a long journey, leaving my wife and I in charge of the temple. Now I alone protect the temple. Sir, are you the legendary Cocoon Master, Levant? <laughs> Who says I am legendary? As you see, I am quite alive. Since then, I have forgotten how long I've lived. Were I a normal man, should have died long ago. Ah, please pardon my bad habit of talking too long. May I continue? A 
legendary cocoon master has got to be an old man. So the chosen ones don't die? Or can't die is more like it. Camuel the Dragon God dwells within my body as protector of Elric, God of the Forest. Protecting the seal of the temple for eternity, that is my duty. How come you got together so many cocoon masters? Levon, can't you just get them by yourself? The divine beasts in the wormhole have spawned awful mutants. The Nagi people feared them, calling them the Forbidden Seas. The divine beasts evolved and adapted to the environment of the wormhole forest. We call them Kalma. They are so numerous, I alone cannot handle them, so I need your help. Hmm, are they strong? They are violent, but also knowledgeable, formidable foes. So I gotta get stronger so I can beat them. Actually, I'm gonna get strong. I promised Dad. Your dad? Is your dad strong? Way strong. Huge fists and a big voice, too. He always says, son, you gotta grow up and be a man. <laughs> I see. Let's start your training. What's your name? My name's Kahu. I want to work hard and get strong like you, Levant. Pleased to meet you, Kahu. A present from me to you. Take it. It is a beast amulet. Man's only weapon for fighting against divine beasts. It is a magic amulet, made by deciphering the ancient scrolls of Gehenna. With it, divine beasts can be handled without using the way of divine beasts. Cool! Can I keep this? Thanks! First, you need to learn walking through the wormhole forest. But if you have no interest in the forest, I will not force you. Many of today's youngsters are so impatient, it's hard to teach them. See the glowing gateway? That's the Kumari Gate. You go in from there. Push the button in front of the gate and then you go. Go. Try it. all over. This is an island in space-time, the Wormhole Forest. The divine beasts have a habit of making nests in the plants called ogre vine. Once in the forest, first look for the nests of the divine beasts. Nests of divine beasts? Ogre vine? What's that? Are they big? The ogre vine is quite a bit larger than the other plants in the forest. It's a big plant that gives off light and vibrates. Go find it. If you get lost, push the Beast Amulet's triangle button and call me. Wow, this is huge! Could this be it? Levant, is this it? Yes, that is an ochre vine. The divine beasts make their nests in there. Now, go on in. There are no divine beasts in this forest, so don't worry. Cool! I can hear something. Like, it's alive! Of course it's alive. We're in the male stalk of the wormhole plant. Male? Is there a female one too? Exactly. A male stalk is an ogre vine. A female stalk is a princess vine. I can tell you more about this plant if you want. How about it? Are you interested? The plants come in pairs that make islands in the wormhole space. The male ogre vine bears spores that fertilize the female. 
the female princess vine receives spores from the male and bears children in the wormhole space. The children create new islands in the wormhole space and thus multiply. The princess vine roots are space-time tunnels that connect all the islands. The wormhole space has many connected islands, making a deep hierarchy of levels. The ogre vine and princess vine are the keys and doors to the islands in the wormhole space. So, what do I do now? You sometimes find gems and herbs dropped by the divine beasts in here. These items are vital to survive in the forest, so be sure to pick them up. So go ahead and search around inside this nest hole. If an explanation point appears, it means there's an item around. To pick up an item, press the X button. I got it. Huh? What's this? Some sort of weird egg? That's a divine beast egg. The eggs you pick up are hatched in the temple. Cool. I've never seen one. So divine beasts are hatched from eggs. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get lots of eggs and raise divine beasts. Finding eggs is merely one means of boosting your fighting power. Our object as beast hunters is to purify dark divine beasts called Kalma. Aim for even deeper levels so we can purify even more Kalma. To advance to the next level, you need the key. Look over there. What's that? Some strange balls came out. Those are key spores. They open the buds on the princess vines as exits. In short, they are like keys to the next level. To find key spores, look for the sparkling stamens. Remember this. Now go on and pick up the key spores. I got it. Now what do I do? Now eat it. Don't hold back. Just swallow it. What? Can you eat this thing? Eat it and your body gives off odors that stimulate the princess vine. Stimulated by odors, the princess vine buds open. That's how it works. Ugh, this looks pretty weird. Just swallow it. You'll be okay. Beast hunters have it pretty rough. Huh? <laughs> hey, something smells sweet. Your body is giving off musk spores. Now, find the exit. Right about now, the princess vine bud should be opening. Now go outside and find the princess vine. Look, see it sparkling? This is a princess vine with its bud open. You can go through here and get to the next island. Huh? Where am I? You went through the wormhole tunnel in the Princess Vine and jumped to the next island. This is how you advance deeper into the wormhole forest. Got it? Let's take a break. I'll show you how to return to the temple. Press the triangle button on the beast amulet to display a menu. The menu will have a return to temple command. Use it to get out of the forest whenever you want. Once you're back at the temple, you've passed walking through the wormhole forest. Try. What's wrong? Don't you know how to do? Pressing the triangle. Looks like you made it back okay. Now you can learn how to use Divine Beasts. Yes! So now I can finally start raising Divine Beasts! You're on your own for a while. Try talking to lots of different people. Press the button on top of the transporter, then pick where you want to go. Go to Kikinak and Company for information about items picked up in the forest. The Shrine Maiden in the Room of Life will tell you about hatching eggs. 
After hatching your eggs, go to the arena to learn about battle formations. How can I remember all that at once? Anyway, first I gotta go hatch the egg I just picked up. Fine, let's meet back here once your arena training is finished. Hey, miss! I got a divine beast egg! What do I do now? Well then, shall we hatch the egg? completes your practice in hatching and arranging divine beasts. Now, go to the arena and learn the basics of how to fight battles. The divine beast hatched today is in your beast notebook, so check it out. Now, give the newborn a good name and take good care of it. Use Earth Beasts to boost your defense, or 
you won't get a chance to counterattack. Look, now you can defend against enemy attacks and get counterattack chances. They are vulnerable to special attacks from wind divinities, so look out! Pay close attention to the various elements and how they will help you in battle. in the center of the enemies to win the battle. A divine beast in front of the master will block any attacks on the master. So keep a divine beast in front of the master for defense in a beast enemy with battle. That's all I've got! So, you want to try using a divine beast? Give you one divine beast. Pick a divine beast. So you want a restore type divine beast? You're worried. But it's a good choice. You fought hard. This ends your battle practice session. Try assembling different formations. Try raising them too. You might raise a powerful divine beast. It's all up to how you fight. Now, go to the Jade Throne Room for the final test. Good luck! Hey there, young man. You were just talking to Moo. Come over here. Now, aren't you cute? Say, young man, who's prettier, Moo or me? Uh, you, maybe? Really? You really think so? Beauty can be such a curse. Since you were honest, let me tell you something. Young man, you want to power up that beast amulet you're wearing? Wow, can you do that? How do you do it? What happens? Win and pass the test to power up your beast amulet. This beast amulet power-up lets you use more and more divine beasts in your beast amulet. It also gives you more and more shields to protect you. Wow! So I should keep taking the advancement test to get stronger, right? 
That's right. But not everyone can take the test any time. Beast hunters have something called their reputation. It's the mark of just how credible they are among the beast hunters. You must have a certain level of reputation in order to take the advancement tests. Whoa, you gotta take all these tests and stuff? Sounds like school. Don't sulk like that. It ruins your cute face. But the advancement test and reputation are important. So remember this. To get stronger, raise your reputation and take advancement tests. Got it? Good luck! I'm rooting for you! Hey, promising rookie. Training hard? Making it big? Yep, I'm gonna train like mad, get stronger, and pound those coma. My name's Kikinak, ex-spirit and now super rich. My Kikinak and company supports the beast hunters in their fight against darkness. Well, we do charge a bit, but our prices are reasonable. Good job. Now is the final test. Try an actual fight. Use your training and experience to escape from the wormhole forest. The forest you are going to has divine beasts, so touching them will start a battle. An instructor disguised as a coma is waiting in some nest hole in the forest. Battle that instructor and get the key spore from that nest hole. Get through the exit princess fight and you pass the test. If I lose in battle in the forest, what happens? If that happens, I guess you're divine beast food. Really? <laughs> Just joking. The beast amulet will bring you back to the temple. That's how it works. Most gracious, eh? get gobbled up by a divine beast. However, if you lose and come back to the temple, you forfeit all items. So that my eggs and everything will all be lost? So don't overdo it. Knowing when to quit is also important. You can use the beast amulet to get back to the temple whenever you want. Now, it's about time to start go into the forest. Hey, where are you going? Go into the forest again. You remember how to go through the gate, right?
do when you use mana points and your beast's mana points goes down? That's a problem, particularly for Naz. You mostly use items to get mana points back. You can also recover mana points by spinning the formation and letting the beast rest in back. Hmm, everyone else is having a hard time too. But thinking of battle methods and formations is fun too, right? Your mana points drop as you use it, so you have to think carefully and manage. <laughs> I may look like this, but I'm your teacher. Teacher? Oh, I get it. More training. So, do you know a lot about the forest? Of course. You know all about beast hunters? That is the object of the beast hunters. Oh yeah, I learned that. It's to purify Kalma. My, my. Very good, Sonny. You're studying hard. Um, teach. One question. Are the Kalma different from other divine beasts? Totally different, Sonny. Parasitic insects have altered their appearance. Altered? To what? To humans. Humans! Isn't that awful? What's worse is that they are recently mimicking the beast hunters. Mimicking? What's that? It means they look like beast hunters. So, how can you tell the difference? If you meet someone in the forest, first try talking to them. They may look like people, but the scum can't talk. You'll quickly find out. Now, enough study. Let's get on with the contest. All right, let's go. Teach, you strong? That's right, Sonny. I am the teacher after all. <laughs>
pretty good, Sonny. <laughs> Not bad. You did well, Sonny. You are pretty strong yourself, Teach. Hey, what? Gosh. But, um, look. See that? Hey, that's a key spore. So, I passed the test here? Don't let your guard down till you're out of the princess vine, Sonny. Pay close attention to the condition of your divine beasts. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling. Wonder if something's still here. Cool. But what is this? How pretty. Hey, this must be an egg of a rare divine beast. Yow! What's happening? Conscious, huh? I guess it doesn't work so well on humans. What? Another me? Who are you? Me? I'm you. You're gonna turn into me. What? Hey, imposter! Try making sense. Shut up! All you gotta do is hand over your body. Imposter! I can feel the darkness in you. Let's settle this. Collect the orbs, and then you. Hey, you there. Wake up already. Huh? Are you dead? Who? Uh, who? Is someone there? Yup, I'm Nico, a bear who came from the dream world. To be exact, I got woken up. Anyway, you've got trouble. An ugly ogre is hiding in your heart. In my heart? An ogre? Where there's light, there's shadow. Don't touch a fairy cocoon. He who soils divine sleep, harboring calamitous darkness. Huh? Don't you learn that from your old man now? What? So am I cursed by you? Bingo. Um type to be fooled by looks. Pretty roses have thorns. Pretty cocoons have curses. Remember that. You're from the dream world? Where is that world? Oh, between heaven and earth, or, well, um, it's, well, how can I describe it exactly? Deep space, or maybe another world, or strange space fantasy? Ah, oh, I get it. This is all a dream. Maybe that light did it? Who's gonna believe that? 
Just look at your rear end. What is that thing anyway? You've got quite a thing there. Huh? What do you mean? Huh? Yikes! This is how Kahu and I met. He who soils divine sleep, harboring calamitous darkness. Poor Kahu's heart was shared by another violent Kahu. A heart divided into light and shadow cannot be one or the other. Only the strong survive, and this is the law of the wild. Humans, beasts of knowledge, imperfect creatures who know too much. This world you see is full of traps that test humans like Kahu. Kahu touched my cocoon, but this too was one of those traps. I was summoned from the dream world to take the role of leading these imperfect beasts and determining their fate. Not what you'd call a dream job, huh? Even chance meetings are the result of inescapable karma. Even so, that's a really ugly tale. Oh well, what you gonna do? There's another Kahu inside of you, Kahu. So Kala has become a human parasite. Sir, what do we do? This guy is a horrible demon. That's me! I'm still in my right mind! But this is real trouble. If we just leave you like this, you'll become Kama. No! You're joking, right? Can't you fix it? The only way to do it is to pull Kama out of you and have a contest. Pull him out? That guy? How? He's inside me, right? Dark summoning. There's one way. If only we had the forest orbs. Orbs? What are those? Long ago, the Chosen One passed the forest ordeal and was given them. Fire. Wind, water, earth. Together, the four orbs will open the door of space-time. If I play the dark loot at that time, I may be able to call the Kalma out of Kahu. So, if I collect those orbs, we can defeat that guy? It's not so easy. Only the Chosen One can get them, right? It may be possible if one has the power to get deep into the four forests. I'll no longer be me. Levant, I'll do it. Well then, I'll give you a license and open the Kumari Gate. I too shall practice on this dark loot from this day forward. After all, this is the only means of handling darkness. <sighs> Good timing anyway. I was getting bored in the other world. You're so lucky to have someone like me who knows so much about Divine Beasts. Ugh, you're so full of yourself, as if you care. Anyway, let's do it. Um, Miss Fairy? Oh gosh, I'm your friend now. Call me Nico. What? Whatever. <laughs> Weird fairy.
into the forest? Well, the reward's a rare item, so I took the job. Hmm? Hmm. Haven't seen you around here before. You are a beast hunter? You bet. I'm gonna train real hard and get real strong. Oh, well, I recommend the Earth Forest for training. It's tough enough. Hmm. What about divine beasts in other forests? How about their habits? Fire forest beasts have a strong style and knock down drag out fights. Can't beat our defense. Wind forest beasts are mostly technicians. They've got a bad attitude with annoying attacks. Water forest beasts are mostly the recovery type. Get a lot of long, drawn out battles. Now, depends on your attack style, but you can try them all to find what you'd like. 
that mask looks pretty tough. Are you strong, sir? Of course. My name's always at the top in the arena. So tell me, how do I get strong? Let me see. First, you take the test at the arena. Got it. Pass lots of tests and you can have more divine beasts at a time. Ah, I get it. Making my beast amulet stronger is important. And then just get tough. Get tougher and you can do powerful attacks. Say there, what should I take when going into the forest? Huh. Let's see. Don't waste your money. Spend no more than 300 yen on snacks. <laughs> Listen, Kahoo. Bananas are okay, right? That's a part of lunch, okay? No, that's no good. Now fill your canteen with only water or iced tea. Uh, can I ask something? So what are the good formations or good items? Kid, you're boring. The fire forests have tough attackers. How about a recovery time? The Earth Forest guys are tough and have good attacks. So take the beasts that can use poison or sleep attacks. But poison and sleep attacks don't work well on water forest beasts. So how about overcoming them with force? Wind forest beasts are a bother. They attack with poison and sleep, so healing type beasts may be necessary. Well, that's about it. Sorry about taking so long. Let's talk later. Today's your lucky day. Have I got a scoop? <clears throat> Wanna hear it? I gotta go. That's a... to the orbs is long. Do not be hasty and take your time. Okay, I'll try lots of things and slowly raise my divine beasts. If you pass the arena tests, you can get a powerful beast amulet. Once you get stronger, you might want to go to the arena. What's wrong? Do you want to ask me something? I gotta go. See you around!
You're an Alco fan, right? Is the Alco magic awesome? Don't be stupid. The divine beasts that are good at magic are Naz and Alcos. But I'd rather use Alcos. They can use lots of magic and their base attacks are tricky. If you don't know which beast to put in formation, use an Alco and you won't regret it. But Alcos don't have much health points, right? I'm worried about defense. Don't be ridiculous. They're so fast they avoid attacks so they don't get hit. Hmm. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Research all gone. Uh, sir. It is more important than my life itself. My notebook. <coughs> sir. Where has it gone, my notebook? Hey, sir. Is that your notebook hanging there? Oh, yes. This is it. I am so absent minded. I start thinking and I, I cannot see anything. My name is Gil. In spite of my looks, I am a scholar. I am studying the Wind Orb. My name's Kahu. In spite of my looks, I'm a beast hunter. I'm searching for the orb. Oh, you too? Ah, uh, but what is that? That behind you, is that a tail? Well, I kind of sort of just... Uh, <laughs> Would you mind letting me do some research on it? I have never seen a person with a tail before. I've never seen one either. And who's searching for the orb in order to get rid of this tail? Get rid of it? What a waste. That is a biological asset. No, a heritage of humanity. Anyway, it gets in the way when I try to sit down. Oh, what a waste. Then I shall find the orb first. Huh? Kahu, we must not let you get rid of your tail. I shall accomplish both my studies of the orb and my studies of your tail. Hmm, I'd give it to you if I could. I don't know why, but there are people who are very scholarly and want to put values on things. According to Dr. Gill, forest researcher, Kahu is a heritage of humanity. But he's really just a little brat. With a sudden declaration of rivalry from the good doctor, they enter a competition for the orb. But I imagine he's a good man at heart, but essentially he's a forest fanatic. Will this match be an easy victory?
Hello. Something like that. I have many things needed for my research, but what can I say? What can you say? What is it? What? A pillow. I cannot do good research without it. A pillow? How do you use that in your orb research? Why, I put my head on it. I just cannot get a good rest without my pillow. Still, there's no need to take everything into the forest. I may need to get into the habit of spending the night in the forest.
we took, but how do we report back? The job! You're not done yet, right? I just finished it right now. Seriously? You are a pro. When you do it, you do it. We gotta get what's coming, though. Of course! There's a reward! Thank you. How about the next job? Bug Beast Hunter, right? Can I ask you something? If both sides have special attacks, does the fastest one win? Huh. Some divine beasts have resistance, but their numbers are few. But if merging is done well, resistance can be given. With resistance, fear not. So with resistance, then there's no need for wind divine beasts? Huh. Why would that be? That doesn't make sense. But they're in the way. Their attacks are so weak and their health points are low. Hey, is that the right attitude when asking questions? Say, yes, I see. Oh, sorry. I was just being silly. Yes, I see. Forget it. 
How stupid! I don't want to talk! Well, would you care for a battle, Squeak? Yeah, sounds good. I welcome a battle against a Mao Beast Hunter. You serious? You might be crying later. Well, here goes. Okay, here goes. Okay, you ready?
terrible. Incredible! You are quite skilled. That was a good match. So here is your reward. Collect lots of them and something good might happen. I'll see you again.
about the orb? I have looked into the literature, and major hints are not exactly coming along as I expected. But I am certainly getting closer to the orb as I get deeper in the forest. You sure are vague. I would be happier if you would call me active. How is your divine beast research coming along? Oh no, you went ahead and asked him? Well, it does not always go as well as one expects. Correctness is not always certain. There are many problems. There is a limit in a single generation, so one wants to bring it to the next. One also gets attached to the divine beasts one had before. Uh, um, is this going to take long? Oh no, I have just started. You had to go ask that question, didn't you?
Catch another coma, come back again.
stumbled into some strange flower trap. A mysterious girl appears before the eyes of a half-dreaming Kahoo. Is she a friend or is she a foe? Well, as you can see, there's no way on earth she'd be a foe. So has our heroine finally arrived? Hey, wait! I'm a woman and I'm right here! What's the meaning of this?
Are you a beast hunter? How's it going? Huh? What's with you? And how are you dressed? You call yourself a beast hunter? Doesn't the mask get in the way? I'm looking for the orbs. What are you doing? Working. Work. I'm setting traps where the scum are likely to trod. It doesn't matter to me. But don't go stepping around there. You'll get paralyzed. It was you. Hey, Kahoot, this guy set that trap. Are those traps for Kalma? What kinds? Strong ones? Come on now, Kahoo. We had a rough time thanks to this guy's traps. What are you grumbling about? Who's the tiny one? Are you a divine beast too? Ah, oh, well, you know what? Somewhere in this forest is a huge dragon Kalma. They call it the Incarnation of Camul. The incarnation of the dragon god of darkness. Cool? Cool. It sounds really strong. I want to see it. <laughs> you might have already seen it. It usually takes the form of a human. The story's famous around here. Appears as a blue girl. Hey, have you seen her? Does she have red hair? What? Where did you see her? Mm, in the forest before this one. In the ogre vine. Boy, you sure are lucky. It's amazing you survived meeting her. That girl's the dragon Kalma you were talking about? Really? Kalma is the enemy, right? If so, that girl surely can't be Kalma. She saved me in the ogre vine, right? But you know... Some guys have seen that one turn into a dragon, got it? Oh, I get it. I'm sure that girl is a good Kalma. Whether good or bad, hunting Kalma is our job. Have you forgotten that? If you're a beast hunter worth his salt, you know that, right? Well, yeah, but she definitely isn't a Kalma. Look, the ogre vine's spewing spores. Get yourself going. Just now, that weird sound. I can't believe you. Haven't you learned anything? Are you stupid? Hey, I couldn't avoid it. Gotta get the key spore, or we can't go forward. Don't make fun of me. You're awful. Thank <laughs> you. 
surprise you? Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. Was it you who gave me the bitter herbs? Oh? Huh? It's no use. The girl obviously doesn't understand. I am Kahu. Understand? I'm Kahu. Looking for the ore. See? Kahu? Kahu. Looking orb? Hey, amazing. She can talk. Not Kapu. Kahu. Got it? Kahu. Hey, who are you? You're not Kama, right? Kama? What Kama? Huh? Uh, they're divine beasts. They turn into people. Beast? You're not beast? I thought so. So you're not Kama. <laughs> I'm so glad. Huh? Glad? Pure not beast, Glad? Ah, so Cure's your name? Cure, where do you come from? Forest. Pure from forest. From the forest? Hey, Nico, is there a village in the forest? Who knows? Never heard of one. I wouldn't be surprised, though. From forest, everyone gone. Cure want leave forest. Wanna leave the forest? I get it. You wanna leave the forest? But leave the forest like that, and the beast hunters will catch you. They all think Cure is Kama. Elrim grant wish. Light deep in forest. Grant wish. Cure same everyone. Light deep in the forest? Could that be the orb? Cure's looking for the orb too? So if you find the orb, you can be the same as everyone? I get it. I see. We're sure to find orb. Grant wish, okay? Come on, come on. What are you doing, Kahu? You're gonna become Kalma. Huh? Oh, yeah. Kapu orb? What orb? Orb is the light deep in the forest, like you said, Cure. I'm looking for that light too. Understand? Kapu same Cure? Kapu not same others? I am like you, Cure. <laughs> look, look, look at this. Ta da! Huh? Tail? Kapu tail? Kapu not same others. See? I'm not the same as the others. I'm the same as Cure, right? <laughs> same. Cure, Kapu, same, same. <laughs> this is Cure. Kapu, weaponizer. Kapu, devil. <laughs> Cut that out. Don't teach her that stuff, you little devil, you! Kapu Goodman, Angel Fred. <laughs> Angel? You mean her? <laughs> Don't laugh, silly. Uh, she's pretty nice after all. Kapu Angel Friend, Kapu Goodman. Here, Nico's not an angel. She's just a fairy. What do you mean, just? I'm a woman of expensive taste. 
See, she's not an angel. Now don't teach her that stuff. Just go over there. What's wrong with that? Don't be putting on airs, right here. <laughs> Capu Nico, good friend.
Eggs? Not as much as you, sir. But do you put Og Divine Beasts on a fire formation? Huh, of course. If you're a man, the special attacks inflict big damage even if you lose health points. A man among men, born to attack, live to attack. That is an Og! <laughs> One shot! Killer attack! Ag's rule! Ho! beasts growing. Well then, let me tell you how to merge them. Listen well, as this is vital for becoming a strong beast hunter.
Well then, do you understand now? You need quite a bit of money to merge strong seed beasts, so be frugal. Hi! Gonna go at it today? Bring some cool beasts?
Oh, my God. 
fought well. Harvest any?
What does that mask mean? This is the mask of the Gara, mark of those who love Garas. Do you use Gara, divine beasts? Uh, I'm not really sure, so I use different ones. You know a lot about Garas, right? How do you best use them? Gara divine beasts are tough and have defensive capabilities. A steel wall defense. They should serve as the best shield for protecting you. Hmm, I see. I want a tough one in front of me. Casting a spell that further boosts defense will give you even more peace of mind. That divine beast Choco gave me doesn't attack at all. Hey, did you raise it right? What? Of course I raised it right. So, what are you trying to say? You're trying to pin it on me? You're serious? You just didn't have the formation right, probably. That's right, it's not my fault. What? What are you saying? It's my fault? It always is. Huh? Where's Vanilla? Where'd she go? Isn't she... off on a walk again? She'll be back soon. Probably. Is she gonna be okay? Can she battle by herself? She is one of the sweet knights. She'll be okay. I wonder... she almost got it last time. I can't stand it! She's such a pain! I'll go look for her. Hi! Uh, who are you? A fan? Huh? I'm a beast hunter, just starting out. My name's Kahu. Are you a beast hunter too? Too? Oh, that's terrible! I'm in the Sweet Nights. Ever heard of us? Nope. Is that like a team name? Sort of. Hey, did you see a girl wearing a yellow uniform around? A girl in yellow? No, I haven't seen her. A girl wearing yellow is right here, right? Well, you're a fairy. Wow, what's that? A divine beast? It talked. Uh, she's a fairy. <laughs> I got cursed. Cursed? Yikes! You serious? Oh, well, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, see you later. Oh well, just 
scared her off. What you gonna do? I think I hear someone else in there. Maybe it's that girl's friend. I think she said she was looking for someone. Why don't we ask them? <laughs> Gahoo! You do like girls. Uh, no, you got it wrong. Hmm. So that girl named Vanilla is gone, right? That girl, what does she look like? Hey, hey, is that all you think about? Gee, you're such a cat. What? I gotta ask or I can't find her, right? I wonder. Meow. You are possessed by a demon. Meow. <laughs> you guys look like friends. Not like us. Well, she's wearing a yellow sailor suit. Kinda anime style. A yellow sailor suit. Got it. I really wonder, meow. You are possessed by a demon. Meow. You shut up. Hey, what are you beast hunters doing in a place like this? Well, training. Training. Getting popular in the arena takes an awful lot of effort. Get it? We gotta get back to our training. Hello! Cheer for the sweet nights, okay? Cheer? How? Let's see. Well, first remember our names. And then you can buy our toys. My action figure's awesome. She's pretty spooky. Wonder if she's a little off. Hello! Cheer for the sweet nights, okay? Hey, hey, can't you say anything else? You're an idol, right? Can you smile a little, huh? She doesn't exactly want you to cheer. Nico, you're going too far! I don't mind. That's the kind of character I am. It doesn't bother me. Hello! Cheer for the sweet nights, okay?
Did you find that girl, Vanilla? Uh, well, uh, see that curse of yours? Can you catch it? Huh? Cut that out. Of course not. But what about Vanilla? Huh? Oh, Vanilla. She's probably wandering around somewhere, I guess. You guess? Weren't you out looking for her? Uh, well, that Kakona really gets on my case, so I just play dumb and split. That's why women are scary. You girls don't get along? Oh, of course we get along, but hey, don't let a word of this get out, okay? Oh, no, no, I just can't take it. Our leader, Kakona, places our divine beast on the formation for us to use, but... Kakona's terrible. She doesn't know anything about our divine beasts. Even I don't know much about the other guy's divine beast. Oh, is that it? You're right about that. I was wondering how all four of you could do battle at once. No way that there'd be such ridiculous rules. You are an odd kid. We shall ceaselessly purify our darkness. Hark! Oh, holy minions! But I can't even see that stuff with a straight face. I bet I could fly pretty well if she'd let me. No, really, really.
Throughout the temple, there's cool cinnamon, and that of choco, incredibly cute vanilla, and the leader, coconut. With all these women of beauty and intelligence, isn't this just like a girl's game? I'm getting ahead of myself, but these girls become the rivals of Kahoo. So is this just the petty jealousy of fans, or trouble with women? What you gonna do? Anyway. Looks like things are getting lively. Hey, hey! That tail's so nice! I'm jealous! I want a tail! Let me cut it off for you! Let's operate! Operate, okay? Just how serious is she? I think she's missing a few screws. You're pretty loose yourself. You've really taken a shine to her, no? I like your tail. Your cassette tail. Vanilla wants one. to meet you. Are you 
Gaga over the sweet nights, too? Gaga? Aren't you a sweet nights fan? How odd. Those useless beast hunters are pretty popular. I'm Gaga over Cinnamon. Cinnamon, she's so nice. Her cold demeanor is totally cool. She's just very stoic. Probably. Hey, hey, who are you Gaga over? Huh? Who am I Gaga over? This idiot doesn't know one from another. That's not true. But I don't know exactly what each one is like. Okay, then make it Cinnamon. Cinnamon's so nice. I recommend her. Huh? Should I? Don't get stressed over it.
Harvest anything? May the children of the wood be blessed by Elrim. Thank you. 
such a place. <laughs> Strongest divine beast quiz. What are the strongest divine beasts in the world? Uh, dregs, maybe? Hey, you idiot. My teeth hurt. Excuse me. What are the strongest divine... I bet it's chews. I know. Chews are the best. Yes. Chews are the best. Yo there, I'm one of the Koo guys. You use Koo's too? I want to use lots of different ones, so I'm interested. You a Koo fan, sir? What do you mean, fan? 
This mask's no shield. It's the sign of a cool beast hunter. Coups are good. They're fast, can fight, and good at defense. They're good at magic, too. Absolutely perfect. There's no more to say. I guess it'll take a while to raise them that far, though. doing here? <laughs> well, if it isn't a tiny beast hunter, I'm taking a rest. Uh, but take a rest around here and won't the divine beasts get you? <laughs> if I don't go meddling in their affairs, they won't bother me. Isn't that because you're so high a level? Huh? Then are you a beast hunter, sir? You can say that, but you've got quite an odd thing there. What? Oh, this tail? I got cursed when a fairy cocoon touched me. That's terrible. You're making it sound like it's all my fault. Serves you right. <laughs> At this rate, you're gonna turn into a beast. No way, never. I asked Levon, and he told me to collect the forest orbs. Forest orbs? You mean the ones once given to the Chosen One? Sir, you know a lot. My name's Kahu. What's your name? His name's Wu. He's my rival. Hey, old man. I'm never gonna let you get away with it today. <laughs> Just as usual. You don't motivate me at all. I do not fight the weak. Who you calling weak? Try saying that after we fight, huh? Mm, sir, who is this guy? You having an argument? <laughs> Do not worry. I beat him once, and now he's always like this. He is quite able, but he relies on brute force alone. But wait. Right, then? No matter how strong you get, you cannot get the orbs! Orbs? Don't know about them. What's that? The beast stones of ordeal awaiting deep in the forest. Do you not know? <laughs> how provincial! This boy knows. Aye, what a difference, man. Oh well, if I am to fight. I might as well fight with one strong enough to get the orbs. Hey, don't you forget that. I'll just go get them. Then we fight, okay? As it happened, as it always happens, 
Kahu entered a stifling, burning hot forest in pursuit of the orb. Until meeting the funny looking old man and having a chat, you thought, what an easy victory. But then, that old man is extraordinarily cunning. And before you know it, he's in competition for the orb with a simple little boy. Kahu, you succeeded in walking right into it. You call this exciting? I can't believe it. Woo, you're terrible. You knew that I'm looking for them. <laughs> Sorry, but I had to say that or Nan would not back down. You satisfied, Kahu? Now this crazy old man's got you involved. Hmm. But it is sort of exciting. Like I got a rival. Well, well, how bold. Go ahead and ask me about anything you like. Hey, that boy. How is he related to you? Your grandson? No, a complete stranger. <sighs> I just fought him in the arena. A hot-blooded one he is. He sure is strong, but having that temper cannot be good to gain real strength. But still, he has guts and spirit. Watch out for him, okay?
for a talking beast. Don't mix me up with those monsters. Want to get cursed? You're pretty obnoxious, too. Hey, do something about her. She's your pet, right? <laughs> Bad attitude, huh? Yeah, I'm pretty much stuck with her, too. Tell me. Bet you'd be real sad without me. Yo, you looking for that orb thing, too? That's right. We're rivals. I'm Kahu. Pleased to meet you. Rivals, don't flatter yourself. Get in my way and you'll get hurt. Me, I'm Nam. Anybody who don't know me got their head in the sand. <laughs> Want to hear my record and quake in your boots? 40 wins out of 41 lifetime. They call me Tomahawk Nam. T Tomahawk? How stupid. You made that up yourself. I said they call me. <laughs> You're starting to tick me off. Forget that. That old man, he's the one who ruined my perfect record. I'll never forgive him. When you get the orbs, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna smash that old man's face with him. Then I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> That's pretty extreme. Just a beast amulet match, right? Well, that's the way I fight my matches, don't you? What a weirdo. It's just a game. Let's have fun, okay? I'm the son of a polo polo warrior. Losing in battle is the same as death. I was killed once by that old man. I don't plan on staying dead. Ah! Excuse me, but I shall demonstrate the strength of Uggs. What are you talking about? Fighting is the best way to have you understand strength. Let's go. Okay, let's all go. Right. Okay, let's go. a disgrace. So, you understand the strength of Uggs? Yes, quite. But are you okay? They risk their lives, the Uggs do. That is my way.
is not to be used for destruction. Hmm. Deep. Very deep. Hey, Wu, what you mumbling about? <gasps> oh, the Cocoon Master's Pledge. It's been handed down for ages. Crystallization of knowledge. Cocoon Masters? Weren't they wiped out with the way of divine beasts? The Cocoon Masters are gone. But their spirit strives to live. For example, Lessie. If you feel rage, do not lose yourself to it. If you feel hate, do not be enraged by it. All forests contain both questions and answers. So it is said. Hey, Wu, what language is that? <laughs> The language of wisdom? A little difficult for you? Even if you are in a hurry, do not act rashly.
Find something. Find something good. Hello.
for any. A Mao beast hunter, right? How do you find Mao divine beasts? I can't seem to find any. That is a matter of luck and effort, Squeak. Only Elrim knows where they are and how they can be found. But there is a good way. Is there a secret move or some cheat code? Is it online somewhere? Those sneaky ways are no good. No good, Squeak. It might be good to battle Mao Beast Hunters in the forest. Really? Then let's fight! Not now. Next time. Anyway, try talking to them.
Master Kahu, Master Kahu, come, come. Oh, Dr. Gill. I have made an incredible discovery. Huh? What is it? Then it's no big orb. Listen, do not be surprised. God. God? More accurately, a descendant of the divine spirit of knowledge, Maman. Come. This is a descendant of the divine spirit of knowledge. Yamu is his name. This divine spirit of knowledge looks more like a chestnut in its fur. Can it talk? Yummy. My, it is certainly intellectual. Gimme, 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 gimme something. Now, now, Yamu, you must not be greedy. Yamu, what? Stop! Dr. Gill, how did you find him? I gave him some food, and he became attached to me. According to the literature, he seems to be a spirit protecting the divine Baobao -bao tree. A spirit who gets attached to you with food can't be good for anything. Dragonfly woman, shut up! Dragonfly, you're pretty cheeky. The wind orb, Master Kahu's tail, and the spirit Yami. I am overjoyed to have so many wonderful research topics. Is this a sign of friendship? Give me some. So, what are you going to do with this Yamu now? What to do? I intend to take him with me. You serious? He seems to have become lost in this forest. He does not seem to have self-awareness. So he's lost. Once my work is done, I may return him to his original forest. Is this chestnut boy supposed to be a spirit? Think he can be useful or do amazing things? Yeah, he is the divine spirit of knowledge after all. Hey, does he give you adventuring hints or create spells for you? No, not at all. So he's just useless. I do not mind. I am simply overjoyed to be near such an unknown entity. Where did you come from, Yamu? Beyond the forest. Far, far beyond. No, not that. Which forest? Um, go forest. Go through forest. It's no good. He doesn't even know himself. What do you think of Dr. Gill? Gill friend. Good guy. Hmm. Friend, huh? Gill good guy. Gimme good meat. Gil fun guy, give me flute. Do, 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 do. Gil nice guy, give me spear ornament. So he gives you stuff and that's why he's a good guy? Yeah.
Take me on in a match, huh? Great! I wanted to fight someone who's good with bugs. Y you know you're gonna lose anyway. You're pretty strange. Okay, here goes! Then we can't be standing around here all day. I didn't exactly want that. Here you go! Take it! That's a good item! I don't need it, so take it! Go away! I managed to win, but it's no fun at all! Kahoo, you don't deliver the finishing move, so he gets big-headed.
by divine beasts. Don't worry, I'll be fine. What exactly happened? I heard that a clue to the orb was here, but it was not so. Who was it that gave you that information? Birdman! The guy at Kikinak and Company? Such suspicious information. That's what I thought. But thinking it might be true, I couldn't stay away. That you should not be going into such dangerous places. No, no. If there is any possibility, I cannot afford to fall behind. I was hoping against hope, after all. You injured. I'm worried. I was hoping again.
think of...
I'm sure that your evolved divine beast will be a great help to you in the future. Dr. Gill? Hmm. Now this is that, and... Oh, Master Kahu, wait a minute. I was just doing some serious thinking. I shall be finished in just a little bit. Doesn't look like he'll be finished anytime soon. Now that is this. Oh, Sonny, how's it going? You using Alcos? Huh? Sometimes. Hey, are those Alco Divine Beasts awesome? Of course. Alcos are good. They've got speed, after all. They can also use magic. Their attacks are awesome, too. Good enough, right? But don't Alco Divine Beasts have pretty low health points? You're pretty naive. You have to use your skill to build that up. There's nothing fun in combining ones that are already complete. You raise them while thinking of how best to take advantage of their characteristics. Use their characteristics in both raising and layout. Good luck to you, too. I don't know how many times I told you. Dr. Gill, what's wrong? Yamu ate some medicine. Well, that medicine is supposed to be put on cuts. Gil gave medicine. Tastes bad. Well, it will probably just get a stomachache. No need to worry. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello. May the children of the wood be blessed by Elrim.
Papa! You know, we finished the job. Oh, it's you, Kahu. Oh, could it be? I did it! I finally did what I promised! Really? I'm so glad. Thank you. What do you want as a reward? Maybe a nice portrait of me? Hmm? <laughs> um, no thanks. Oh, too bad. Then I'll give you this. Thank you. the trap we met in the water forest? Huh? You must be that boy. Oh, I get it. You gave up looking for the incarnation of Camule. How could I do that? Staying in the forest all the time is not very smart. I put notes on the bulletin board like this to smoke out his roost. Oh yeah? So did you find him? Well, not yet. It's just a matter of time.
You've got a brave face. You've got spirit. Wanna go at it? Sure, I'll take you on. All right, let's do it. Here goes. Go, go, Kahoo! Don't pull any punches! Look close! This is how you use Divine Beat. Thank you. 
terrible. I can't stand it. <laughs> You did pretty good. Nice attacks. But your guarding needs help. Anyway, to commemorate your victory over me, take this. This? It's like a point card. Collect them for something good. Hey, let's fight again.
coming. Hello. Do you use slimy divine beasts? Huh? Well, sometimes. Sometimes? No good. Slimies every day, Slither. The other divine beasts are no good at all. Forget them. Slimies are resistant to special attacks and cute, too. Real easy on the eyes. They're the strongest healing divine beasts and will sacrifice all for their friends. But aren't their attacks pitiful? Slimies are kind at heart. That's why they can't be violent. They're mood makers that prop up their friends. Hmm, indeed. I've learned a lot today. Some attack and some defend. The beast amulet is deep. <laughs> Like a bee? Are you still setting traps all over? That little divine bee sure talks a lot. Where'd you pick her up? Hey, who are you calling a little divine beast? I'm a fairy. Fairy? <laughs> oh well. Say there, Sonny. Can I have her? Take her to Kiki Knack and Company, and I can get a pretty penny for her. Really? So I could sell Nico? It's very tempting. Hey, Kahoo, don't you get started on this now. <laughs> Just joking. Sorry, sir. She's my friend. Rats. Ah, well, forget it. I wonder if I can get a part-time job. I can't make ends meet on Kalma hunting alone.
No, no, Cure! You gotta watch out! The Beast Hunters are after you! Cure, okay! Cure, run away fast! Cure, find orb! If your wish is granted and you get out of the forest, what will you do, Cure? Cure, run, see lots! Not no outside forest! Kapu, why? Why come to forest? Huh? Well, of course, to get stronger! To train, get stronger, and become a man! I promise my dad! I want to get strong, like the legendary Cocoon Masters! Cocoon Masters? Um, don't you mean Beast Hunters? Oh, shut up! I just want to become strong and control divine beasts! Okay, Cap will surely be strong. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna work hard. Cap will surely be strong. <laughs> Gaga. Uh, Gaga? It means we love you. We're always Gaga over the sweet nights. Gaga, Gaga, Gaga. There's no need to go off and echo yourself. Harvest anything?
Thank you for coming. May the children of the world... Find something good.
Oh, Sonny. Did you find lots of beasts? Tried some Nas? Uh, yeah, but I couldn't quite figure out how to use them. Nas are good. If you're going to use water magic, use Nas. But what about their attacks? They're not very strong, right? It is true that their attacks are not very strong, but you can use them with work. The water formation itself is not for attacking. Each of the formations is used according to its own purpose. Think of why the Beast Amulet has four formations.
Gnaw Beast Hunter, do the Gnaws have unusual attacks? That's a good question. There are some extraordinary ones. Special attacks that directly reduce mana points, and attacks that drain health points and mana points from the enemy. The battle is won by bringing the enemy health points to zero. So these attacks are powerful. If the points don't just go away, but actually help the enemy, it feels like a loss in turn. Oh yeah, you can also inflict mental damage on the enemy beast hunter. Wow, that's huge! But won't you lose friends? That's the other side of love. But the stupid men never understand me. I have friends. The Nas and the divine beasts have never betrayed me. Indeed. I think I know why so many Naz are like you. I wonder what they're all doing right now. <laughs> Oh, 
I will. Good, that's a man. All right, let's go. Come on, let's fight. Oh, you got courage. You got guts. again and you get another i'm not gonna lose next time okay i'll see you around oh
that thing good? Beep and pat. Girls, making it big? From here you look awesome. No losses since your debut. Yes, you are, of course, idols. You were originally picked on looks alone. And your arena opponents can be handled. But, have you not gotten in a rut? Your fans always want more stimulation, right? So, I shall challenge you to the ultimate real fight. 
Your challenge is to find the orb resting deep in the forest. But if you cannot do it, you will be immediately disbanded. Good luck to you all. Oh no! What do we do? Hey Kakona, if we don't get the forest orb, are we going to be disbanded? What a stupid plan. Kill it! Kill it! I bet the boss made up the plan to disband us from the beginning, eh? We really are in a rut. Gee, then maybe I'll try to make my solo debut. Hey, wait a sec. We're a team, right? We gotta stick together now. Sort of like, only when it's convenient. Oh, one more thing. I forgot one important thing. Our fight card will include a fine new opponent as a rival. The boy cursed by a fairy, the old hunter, Kahoo! Oh, hi guys. Hey, listen, when I got into the ogre vine... Oh, the odd life form. The cursed tail. Kahu, you were... searching for the forest orbs. <laughs> the first serious battle in a long time. I like it. Don't you get it? Lose and we get disbanded. I'm saying it'll be fun. Right, Vanilla? Yo, I don't get it. But if I get to battle the odd life form, I'm there. Hey, Cinnamon, say something. Well, if someone wants to do it, why not? Ugh. If something happens, don't come running to me. Oh, nice, Kahu. You're pretty popular. What you gonna do? Huh? This many of them? This many rivals? Oh, no! Yo, if we win the battle, give me your tail. Uh, no way. I need the four orbs to get rid of my tail. Then I, Vanilla, will help you find the orbs. Excellent. I don't mind, but do that and the Sweet Knights will be disbanded. What? I don't get it. Hello? Uh, uh... Cinnamon? That's right, Cinnamon. Please don't act so familiar with me. Well, one down. That was short-lived, Kahoo. We are rivals, after all. Ah, Kahu. Sorry about getting you involved in this. Ah, uh, don't worry about that. I'll be fine. You're right. This is our ordeal to let us remain major leaguers. If we overcome this, we will... <laughs> what you gonna do? She seems raring to go. <laughs> See, our first serious battle in a long time. Hey, hey, aren't those matches at the arena rigged? Huh? Hmm? <laughs> well, I don't know. But I guess winning became nothing unusual. Yeah, sort of boring. That is boring. Must be rigged.
Pleased to meet you. Huh? Hey, didn't we meet you before? Huh? Didn't we? I think this guy's a different one than that other fan. With those masks, I can't really tell. So is this guy a Sweet Nights fan too? I'm Gaga over the Sweet Nights. I'm Gaga over Vanilla. Vanilla's just a little girl. You think she's great? She's just so much cuter, right? Huh? You say right, so am I supposed to agree? Oh, Kahoo. You have a crush on Vanilla? No, not at all. <laughs> I didn't say that. I don't mind. Even if you got a crush on Vanilla, I'll still go around with you. Even if you got a crush on Vanilla, I'll still eat dinner with you. Even if you got a crush on Vanilla, I'll still breathe the same air as you. I've got nothing against people with a crush on Vanilla. Gee, it sure sounds like it. I'm about to explode with heartache!
you doing here all by yourself? Yo, I'm Vanilla. Team orders. I'm a safe sacrifice, but I'm getting in your way, Kahoo. Uh, you are Vanilla? Hey, you're making fun of me. Kahoo, pinch hitter. Now I'm really mad. Vanilla alone is much scarier than Vanilla in the night. You're worrying me. I don't think I'd be so happy beating you. <laughs> I thought so. You do like her. You can't fight Vanilla. Come on, Kahoo. You're on deck. Kahoo, you like Ginoo's too? No way. I can't stand those disgusting things. I heard you say disgusting. I'll tell. Darn it. Vanilla. Just had to do it. Oh no, I lost. I'm so ashamed. But Vanilla, you were stronger than I thought. Huh? Really? Seriously? Truly? It was fun for Vanilla too. Okay, next time I'll fight with Slimies. Sound awesome? Yep, awesome. See you at the arena.
Captain Gun. Be prepared.
yourself I don't mind oh uh, but I uh, right well uh, is Kakuna working hard who knows if she doesn't find the ore won't you get disbanded don't worry about the others worry about yourself your tail if you don't find the orb you'll die huh how do you know Another thing, when talking to someone, check their mood before talking to them. I shall test you for the power to fight Kalma. Come, take me on. I don't know what you're saying, but okay, let's do it. 
Good. Come at me. Come on! Here goes! Watch carefully. This is a foolproof strategy. So strong! You are the warrior I hoped for. Please, take this. This is proof of defeating me. This is proof that you know our importance. Well, good luck from now on.
Cinnamon? Hello. Cinnamon, you are pretty cool. Isn't she just silent? No, she is really cool in how she deals with people. She isn't all clingy and stuff. But still, she helps out when the Sweet Knights are in danger of being disbanded. Hey, hey, Cinnamon, how come you help out the others then? Hmm, it's a bother. It's a bother to help, but it's also a bother when people talk about you later. Hmm, she is cool. No, this is what you would call peculiar. One more thing, okay? It's a bother talking to you, too. Chaco? Where were you, dawdling? I've been waiting a long time. You didn't have to go out of your way to wait for me. It's been a long time since I fought with my own divine beast in battle. Lately I've been busy doing merging and stuff. What a mess. Come on, Kahu. Let's go at it.
Oh no, I'm just having too much fun. <laughs> I see. Kahu, let's battle again sometime. Hey, hey, what about the sweet night? Unusual plight.
This is an unusual place. Want to buy anything? Thank you. Hello. Pleased to meet you. Huh? You, you, you're Kahu? Huh, how do you know about me? You're the enemy of the Sweet Knights. You're trying to get the Earth Orb in order to disband the Sweet Knights, right? I am looking for it, but I'm not trying to do that. Th then, I shall defeat you, Kahu. Then Choco might... gonna knock you over. Yeah. <laughs> 
Was ist so eine... Thank you.
in the pot.
This is Kiki Nack and Company? Yes! What are you doing here? Traveling salesman! Gotta buy something?
Hello. been cursed by the cocoon of a Felu since King Karis. King Karis? Who's that? The king of where? Don't you know the legend of Al-Qaeda? Karis was the last tyrant who caused the Age of the Apocalypse. Job? I see. Thanks. I'm counting on you. Of course. Leave it to me.
Hey, boy. You ever use any Drac Divine Beasts? I want to try a variety, so I'll use one if I get the chance. Do you know much about Drax? Can't you see from my mask? The ones who dearly love Drax all wear these masks. Drax have good basic abilities, but also excel in their own particular specialties. <clears throat> How about magic? Awesome? Some are good at magic, but they can't use magic or special attacks when their mana points are gone. What's left is their basic attacking power. Drax excel on this point too. In any case, the divine beasts left on the beast amulet to the very end will be Drax. to make it all the way here? But I was wondering, what is that unusual thing you're wearing? This? This is the mark of a Pola Pola warrior. What about it? Hmm. Pola Pola, huh? So are there a lot of warriors like you now? Quah. They're all cowards now. That place is history. All they think about is money, money, money. Doing Kiki Nack and Company's bidding. Where has the pride of the Pola Pola warrior gone, the miserable scum? Now you really got me riled up. Hey, let's do battle. Why? What for? I didn't intend to. Can it? Let's fight. Ready? Let's go! Talking about Pola Pola really messed up my timing. What? Get out of here. The nerve of that guy. What? Why the nerve? Leave me alone.
Good with Drax, right? Hey, hey, where should I place my Drax Divine Beasts? Each beast hunter must decide that himself. What a stupid question. Okay, what do you recommend? Where do you place them? Let's see, they have good health points. So the center of each formation is good. Of course, they have a few special attacks. So the corners of the formation are good too. So what do you mean? Then you can put them anywhere? Eh, I guess so. It depends on the other Divine Beasts, too. Oh no, I wish we'd never asked. You just boast about your Drax. A Beast Hunter must decide his formations himself. No one can teach you. A beast hunter, Wu. Mm hmm. I was looking for something. Hmm. What were you looking for? A coma or something? It was. Oh, I was looking for the future while probing the past. My hometown Golem was attacked by locusts of the apocalypse, swallowed by the forest. Why was it destroyed? What did the god of the forest want? <laughs> I'm sure I'd find the answer if I lived in this forest where locusts and divine beasts lived. But even if you figure it out, your hometown won't come back, right? True, but I vowed to find it before I die. Oops, I shouldn't say that. Don't want to feel old. Gets me all gloomy. Fool around here and then we'll get a lead on you.
Welcome. Is this your first time? Huh? Um, I think so. This is a members only arena. You shall fight three beast hunters and if you win, a large prize fund shall be paid. And if you lose? You will not receive prize money and the rest is the same as an ordinary match in the forest. Oh, so that's it. You making money? Yes, thank you. Anyway, would you care to pay your enrollment fee? Okay, let's do it! Thank you very much. Well then, our number three shall be your opponent. Please enjoy yourself. Come this way. Congratulations. Now, if you try round two immediately, the prize money becomes much higher. What will you do? Do you wish to fight? Okay, I'd like to do it. Thank you very much. Now comes round two. Well then, our number two shall be your opponent. Please enjoy yourself. Come this way. Thank <laughs> you. 
Congratulations! Now, how about round three? If you win now, you'll be paid a dreamy amount of prize money. Do you wish to fight? I've come this far, so I gotta. Thank you very much. Now comes round three. Now our number one will finally appear. This way, please.
Congratulations. To tell the truth, your round three victory surprised me. Well, it certainly was tough. You did it, Kahoo. Knowing you're number one here makes me see you in a whole new light. Here's your prize money. Please come back again. underhanded tactics. Look who's talking. I'm always aiming to be the strongest. Uh-uh-uh. Keep talking like that and you won't be popular with girls. I ain't interested. Really? Hey, Kahu, look at me. Think you can beat me? Go away. You're in my way. so happy. I can't stand it. I think I lost my precious cocoon. Cocoon? A cocoon containing a divine beast? That's right. I thought I left it back in the temple. But it wasn't there. The boss is really angry. Guess he should be. Oh well. I can't go back until I find it. Hmm, I see. Sounds terrible. I thought I left it back there. 
If you find a cocoon containing a chew, tell me ASAP, okay? Did you find it? Uh, I guess not.
look down. Something wrong? The forest has lots of plants, right? Think they're edible? P plants? You a vegetarian? Stupid. Not for me. We used to keep goats and cows at our house. Oh. Ah, forget it. Ugh, cows, huh? Nam's house sounds like a nice place. Shut up. Cows can't eat these plants. What? Got nothing to say to you. Hey, aren't you the guy who lost his divine beast cocoon and is looking for it? Hey, how did you know? They all wear those almost identical masks. You think so? Look carefully. They are a little different. Hey, you all right? Did you find it yet? Not yet. Ugh. What do I do? Did you find it? Oh, no? It's no joke. Fighting in such a place. 
Bad app. It's not the money. Get out of here, squirt. We men fight for our pride. What about it? You're not a man, right? <gasps> now you got me going. Okay, come on. <laughs> Very good. I'm not pulling my punches. Get ready. Me too. Be prepared. Uh, huh? What you scared of? Hey, hey, you serious? Cut the act. Scared? <laughs> Me? Aren't you a fool? Uh-oh, he's lost it now. Watch out, Nam. <laughs> Don't expect to come back alive. I like it. This is getting interesting.
there. How's it going? Find the cocoon? Hey, I looked everywhere, but I couldn't find it. Hey, are you worried because of this idiot? Hey, I'm a disgrace, but I know I left it there. You stupid idiot! Don't be making excuses! Aren't you a man? Hey! I'm sorry, I, I'm such a disgrace. You stupid idiot! Put your spirit into it! Show us your guts! Oh, come on! I'll give you one that I'm not using! Hey! I'm sorry! I'm such a disgrace! I am. I am. Hey, hey! Use your spirit! Let's go with guts! Hey! You are too kind. Let's go with our guts. Hey! You guys, too! Is your village a cocoon master village or something? Golan is an old village. It once had a cocoon master, but the cocoon master that protected us abandoned the village and vanished into the forest. The village was soon destroyed. We then began to roam the forests of peril. Hmm. Didn't you have anywhere to go? That is easier said than done. There's no one left who was born and raised in that village. Everyone misses the hometown that they hear of only as a thing of the past. Even if you know it's a lie, you still can't forget. It's like that. A phantom village is still alive in the hearts of the people of Goron. Yeah. <laughs> 
talking about don't play dumb prepare yourself
Mr. Stover. I'm so miserable. Ah, I tracked you down so far. How miserable. What is this stuff? How can he call me a thief? Um, don't you really have it? Naughty, naughty. Don't give me that. Of course not. But I wonder where it is. You did it! Really? Bravo! Let's get what's to be gotten and scram, okay? Hey, hey, hey! How unkind! You are miserable companions. Can I give you a hug? No? Um, no. I guess not. Anyway, this is for you. Hope we can do it again!
Hello.
Thank you.
something good in the-
you fought. Harvest any.
Thank you for coming. Yo, Sonny! <laughs> Listen close. I finally found it. Wow, you found it! So, did you catch it? <laughs> well, I, uh... As soon as it noticed me, it ran away. Whoa, that's strange. Running away like that. Sure ain't karma, though. Nah, I bet that Camille will just quake in its boots when it sees me. Don't worry about it. Either way, I'll know when I bring it down. Now, where do I set the next trap?
against you. <laughs> Don't worry, we won't hurt you. Dragon inside Cure, but I hate him. Cure not same. A dragon inside Cure, but not the same? Hate? Hey, Nico, do you understand? You ought to run away before the beast inside me eats you. You know, something like that. Bye. 
Right? Yeah, I thought so. Huh? Well, I am, but why do you know me? I'm glad. Actually, I took a job asking me to defeat you, so I've been looking for you. So here goes. Okay, let's get medieval. Look close. This is how you use divine beasts.
Ouch! Terrible! I can't stand it! Ouch! Ow! 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 Oh, I lost! Oh no! No reward either! I don't know who asked you, but I'm not gonna be defeated so easily! Oh no... So, I guess even beast hunters pick fights out of duty, too. What? Really? Ugh, I can't stand that stuff. Yo, Sonny, have you seen hide or hair of that beast? Huh? What? Oh, the dragon coma? Nope, I haven't seen it at all. How wicked. Making a young boy lie. What a sinful woman. I'm not lying. Cure isn't a coma, you know. What are you whispering about? Are you hiding something? What? Are you still here?
Making it big? Hey, making it big? What making it big? So oh, stupid. What are you doing? I thought I'd teach Kira about the outside world, so she'll be okay if she leaves the forest. Hmm. Oh, nice. Want no outside forest? Please, Kapu? Hmm, let's see. Oh, I know. Know what this is? Here, you can have it. What? This? It tastes good. Know what it is? Huh? Gee, you're just like a top breeder. Enticing her with food. No, no. It's just a biscuit. It was in my pocket. Nico, do you want one too? Are you sure it's okay? Nothing's wrong with it? Of course not. How rude. Mmm. Kapu, mmm. Huh? What? Guess you don't like it, huh? Yummy. Tastes like happy. you never eat before. <laughs> really? I'm so glad that you like it. Pure yummy. Everyone yummy. Same. Happy. That's right. See, Nico, do you want one? No way. I don't want charity. You know what? I don't think I could leave it all up to you, Kahoo. I gotta teach her the correct things. How can you say that? You keep trying to teach Cure strange stuff. You're horrible. There are things that only girls know. Tastes like happy. Nico, eat too? Huh? Food over romance? Ugh, so boring. Fine or quick. Tastes like happy. Black. Yummy.
What an unusual place to meet. I've had this foreboding all day. I had a premonition that I would meet you, boy. Well, since you're here, how about a match? Sounds like fun. Of course I will. Let's have a match. That's the spirit. It has been a while. I'm going to try hard. Not pulling any punches. What is a real battle? Don't you know? I'll.
What is the meaning? I've never heard of that. You satisfied? Quenched your thirst? Oh, incredible. Look, my body is trembling. You did so well for one so young. As proof of our wonderful meeting today, take this. Collect lots of them and I'll give you something good. Well, see you.
Thank you. 
You know, we finished the... How about it? Finish the job? Of course, perfect. <laughs> Ain't I great? I thought it'd take longer. It seems you've done it. Here's your reward. Thanks. You're pretty cold. Act a little happier, will you? You know, praise him and such. I have a policy of not bringing emotions into the temple. Thank you.